Okay, uh, let's see. So... I beat Inventor. Inventor. Let's let's go back to Witch. I'll be able to beat her eventually, but still. Aww. Thanks for joining me for another round of Dicey oh. Dungeons tonight. <laughs> let's give a big round of cruelly mocking laughter for our miserable contestant. Okay, Robo Bot. I wonder if some of these enemies are actually unlocked by getting further in the game. I mean, obviously, but I guess that's supposed to be how it works. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Do we get another cauldron? And nah, roll it. Then we get another cauldron. Three damage. Okay. This should be fine. Ow! Okay, so we don't have any twos. Why did I throw my one in there? Uh, I'm a moron. Oh well, we kill him by hucking dice at it. It's fine. The problem with me saying self-deprecating things is people really like to latch onto that. Okay, so now we've got Magic Missile. Pretty good card. Still prefer the Thundershock because it does effectively the same thing and comes with the status effect, but you know what, whatever. Magic Missile. Cauldron. Gets me a nothing. Throw the dice! Okay, so we level up. We could do Ice Shard or Electric Shock. You know what? Let's do Ice Shard. Uh, let's see, but we should have that as a six. Because if we get Hall of Mirrors, we want that to be a five, actually. Let's see, Nudge. I guess I'll learn it. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but still. Okay, so let's go for Stereo Head. Let's see, do we want Infliction? Do we want Magic Missile? We should probably want Magic Missile. Okay. Got a lot of sixes. Got a lot of even. Uh, I'm just gonna chuck it. I, you know what? I should have given myself Ice Shard now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, need six, deal five damage. Go for an Infliction. Let's see what else we get. Another Magic Missile? And gets me another Magic Missile. Get out of here, fake Magic Missile. I don't know. Okay. Stereo Head is uniquely inconvenient right now. Okay. So far, so good. Kind of. Well, there's Hall of Mirrors. Really does feel like I'm supposed to use Hall of Mirrors here. So I level up in two. Uh, let's save the apples, because Dryad kind of hurts. Uh, you know what? Four. Okay, so we get Nudge. We're gonna nudge that down. All of Mirrors is good. So then I can get an Infliction or a Magic Missile. And then a Cauldron, which gets me another... Five. Eh. I don't need more of these. Another Hall of Mirrors. Let's see. We don't need another three. We don't need another nudge. Ice Shard actually would be nice. I might want to switch my starting cauldron out for... Honestly, Hall of Mirrors, maybe? Because Cauldron itself isn't immediately or amazingly the most useful. Well, it kind of is. It's a good way of re-rolling dice. 
Uh, gets me another Hall of Mirrors. Well, let's just get another Cauldron here. And roll it. Probably should have gotten that instead of Nudge, maybe. Well, shit. I didn't expect it to roll double sixes and just demolish me. I guess I should have, uh, I should have eaten one of those apples. I was hoping, I was hoping I could avoid it, but that was just kind of shit luck off, off the bat. Okay, Spack Marine. Let's see, is this the second episode? Nope, it is by far the first. I have just had real garbage luck fighting, uh, fighting with a witch. I was, it, wow. I, I've always had really, yep. This is Al. Let's see. Yeah, really garbage luck fighting things. I keep running in, into the Kraken, which more or less just, like, demolishes me before I can get rolling. Uh, get Nudge. I guess I ignored Nudge. I'm not really sure if I need Nudge. Okay, that's a little bit better. But yeah, I didn't grab Nudge. I don't really need or use it, so it's not like... It's not the biggest, like, must-grab thing. Okay, so Electric Shock or Burning Light? Honestly, Electric Shock. And we want that, that to be three. Okay, so what else do we got here? Magic Missile. Not sure if I'm going to use that that much, but still. Okay, so I'm going to grab... Magic Missile is my starter thing. It might not be a good idea, but it does a bunch of damage. Okay, no bad apples, so let's just fight Sneezies. Alright, we could get a second electric shock, or we could get... I didn't flick. Ah, let's just chuck the dice. This does more damage. Oh, no! Ow! That's 12 damage right off the sneeze. Okay, uh, let's see. So I don't have a whole lot of evens here. I, I, then again, I'm not going to use the 6 or the 4 now that I'm really thinking about it. We, eh, I guess we could have nudged. Get Cauldron. Reroll this. Electric Shock. Electric shock again. Okay, there we go. So that just... I was really hoping that would lock off Sneeze. Because that would that would have doomed him. Okay, might want to switch in the electric shock instead. Instead, now that I'm thinking about, thinking about it. Extra damage is not quite as good as... Dang, bitch. And there's Hall of Mirrors. Which I'm going to get instead of Magic Missile. Then we're going to go fight the baby squid, and hopefully it won't completely destroy me this time around. Okay, so there's Hall of Mirrors. And there's Electric Shock. Not the best, but at least takes out uh, Headbutt. Uh, it still gets me with Headbutt, but still... See, I've got an infliction. I could get a second Hall of Mirrors, but that seems like a, a wild gamble. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. 
do four. Infliction. At least it lim- wow. Gamble paid off. It's not the greatest and this is going to freaking hurt, but that's okay because I get a shit ton of dice on the next round. That's a nudge. We don't need so many halls of mirrors. Uh, let's see. Crystal ball here. Okay, there we go. We get a second electric shock. Electric shock, electric shock, and then an infliction. And then we just throw dice. Okay. And we want to upgrade that spell slot, go to spell book. We're going to do... Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. Damn it. I was really hoping I could actually have Hall of Mirrors. Well, we're going to switch back to Cauldron. At least for the time being. Might not be the best idea, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. So Magic Spear? No, Magic Shield? Heck yeah. Magic Keys also be kind of nice. <sighs> we should probably grab Magic Shield for survivability. Okay, so Dryad, strong against poison. Not really much I can do against that, but that's fine. Electric Shock. Other Electric Shock. Okay. Shields up. Hall of Mirrors up. But would like to zap the Dryad, but this is worth it. Okay, shields up. Well, this is just kind of inconvenient. So I straight up can't use those. We'll want to get something probably instead of Infliction or something. Okay. We're good though. There's Zappy, Zappy, and let's get an Infliction instead of one of those electric shocks. Do we keep going? We could. Okay, there we go. Split plus Infliction might have been kind of interesting, but this is fine. Okay, so that was exactly what I needed. Hall of Mirrors is good. Magic Shield is saving my butt, whether or not I recognize it or not. And just chuck dice. Unfortunately, we're getting, like, stupid amounts of odd dice here. Water really can't resist the late-game snowball. I think you need it with the Witch, though. None of her, none of her like, initial cards are strong enough to carry her, from my experience. Because you only get, like... You only get four card slots, which means you have to have a stupid amount of dice to cycle there. So I have a little bit more money, uh, but I can't get my magic key. I would prefer magic key to magic uh, to nudge, but mm, no dice. Let's go fight that pirate. Two, two, and a nudge. It's on fire, yo. Okay, so we get Hall of Mirrors. Uh, magic shield up. Nudge this down. Give me that dice. Uh, 
I do not remember. I don't think I level after this guy, which kind of sucks. Okay, let's shields up. Let's go with that. Uh, Hall of Mirrors. Another Hall of Mirrors. Nudge. Hall of Mirrors. And then throw the flaming dice. I always forget to throw the flaming dice back at the pirate. It's bad. Okay, so now I've got a shit ton of dice, so his burning is less of a concern. It isn't nearly as concerning. Uh, let's see. Hall of Mirrors up. It's Infliction. What do I have? I can get another Infliction. I could get an Electric Shock. Get an Electric Shock over this Infliction. And we'll just throw both of them. Okay. Ow. I mean, at least I get a shit ton of dice that I can just chuck around here. Zap him for a bunch. Shields up. Let's see. He's pretty zapped. What could I do? Do infliction. And throw dice. Okay, we got him. Okay, so we've got a couple of apples sitting around. Catastrophe. I'm not a big fan of Catastrophe. I mean, it's good. It is good. Let's get rid of Infliction. It's a magic dagger. Or Glass Cauldron. Glass Cauldron's not terrible. We might need the apple, though. Go after the haunted jar. It's a spooker. If I remember right, there's no point in shielding here, so I shouldn't. I shouldn't squander my dice on it. What do we got? Electric shock nudge. Probably pop a cauldron. That gets me Hall of Mirrors. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Haunted, Haunted Jar is, is spook. I'm not a fan. We get Crystal Ball at a pretty good time, though. Okay, Hall of Mirrors. Hall of Mirrors. Hall of Mirrors. Let's see. Reroll this one. It's me electric shock. Okay. So ideally what I'd like to do is zap the crap out of him every round. Keep those dice down. Okay, so I need another electric shock. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's see. If I do this... Okay, that sort of worked out. Get another cauldron. Reroll for a five. Well, frustratingly, that gets me two Hall of Mirrors, but that's fine. So we zapped him twice, which means he only gets two dice here. But poison ten, which means I am effectively bonered if I can't kill him this round. Luckily, I've got Crystal Ball and a hell of a lot of electric shocks. Okay, so we're gonna get another electric shock here and throw, throw dice. Okay, we got it. That was tight, but luckily it was two double dice value or duplicate. I'd rather have duplicate for this one. 
And let's get rid of Nudge. Okay. Woo! That got... That got tough. I didn't even need the crystal ball. Okay. This is a good time for crystal ball, though. Let's get electric shocks down. Magic shield. And do I bother with a catastrophe? We'll get one catastrophe. I figured that getting him zapped should work well in my favor. Uh, get Cauldron Plus. Do we zap him? Or do we roll it again? We get Hall of Mirrors. Okay. So odd. And I guess a catastrophe because I don't have any even even dice. Okay, so far so kind of okay. There's Hall of Mirrors that I was looking for. Uh, let's see, and I guess I'll put it into Catastrophe. I probably should have just chucked the die at him. Unfortunately, I'm running it up pretty heavy dice disadvantage, which is suck. I'm gonna get Cauldron instead of Catastrophe. Catastrophe works better when I have massive amounts of high value dice. And I don't I don't get that. Okay, Hall of Mirrors. Let's get rid of Electric Shock in favor of another Aldrin. And then let's get a dupe instead. Unfortunately, it can't do anything useful with that. That's it. And you have more than one copy of the spell in your spell book. Yeah, but why? It wouldn't help you. Well, no, I I could see a couple of situations where that would help. Okay. So electric shock instead of hall of mirrors. Uh, let's dupe the six. Another electric shock. Let's see. Magic shield. Three roll one of these. It's me at two. Catastrophe, not the most helpful. Get another one of these. And then reroll cauldron for a six, which doesn't really do me any good. But still, puts me at shield seven. And he's zapped into largely irrelevance. We're gonna want to buy an apple. God, this guy sucks. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We can get another electric shock here. That's not... Uh... I'm not really sure if that was worth it. Okay, whatever. Shields are good. I might have... Eh, no, no, no. I'm definitely locking him down. We're just gonna chuck dice at him until he dies. I win. Hopefully I can get a healing spell from one of the shops soon. Maybe this? Counter spell. The enemy rolls blank. That dice is locked. That's interesting. Let's get that instead of Catastrophe. Because I, I actually... There are potential builds where I can see that working really, really well. It's a level 4 Kraken, which means it's going to have 5 dice. I gotta kill it, so let's heal up and let's go fight this sucker. Let's see. 
We could do... We could do... We could get dupe. We could get a... Well, we want magic shield. Magic shield. Upgraded magic shield. Oh, but it's odd only. I thought there was the version that just went up oh, max four. Cripes. Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, it's rolling nothing but evens. Okay, it's only gonna overwhelm me twice, but still. The scaling on that is not okay. And I'm cursed. Okay. We lose that. Let's get electric shock. And we're just gonna throw that die, because I can't do anything else. Yeah, counterspell all of his dice. Uh... Yeah. I mean, that's... But I also need a two. Gets me another Hall of Mirrors. Get a duplicate. Okay, I end up with two fours. That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. We'll shield up. We get another electric shock. And then I'll throw the die at him. Unfortunately, he's gonna kill me. This is danger. Uh, nope, we're lucky. He almost kills me. Okay. So let's duplicate these twos. Counter spell. Two. And three. Well, that wasn't... Shoot. All of mirrors could get n another electric shock. Neither of these are useful. Okay. And I'm dead. Man, screw the Kraken. It's just, every time... Every time I run into it with a witch, I just get demolished. And I don't really see the counter in the witch build, because her, her actual spell pool is tiny. I think there's maybe ten things total. And so, like... Effectively, Hall of Mirrors is a trap against the Kraken, but it's also required because I only had, what, three or four dice? Yeah, Wander scales too much on the plus one dice and it collects damage, so he loses the DPS race. But, like, I have one damage dealing move. Like, that entire freaking run, I only got one damage dealing move, and it only did damage on even dice. And which only gets, what, three dice by that stage? Yeah, freeze seems like it would work well against it, but I don't get freaking freeze! Like, y'all gotta, like, step back and realize I don't have these options that you're, like, suggesting here. I don't, there were no freeze freeze cards I don't, I don't think available. There wasn't a whole lot of high damage dealing anything in the pool, like, the witch very specifically needs to have a, a slow build. And so it's like, whenever I finish a witch run and I get wrecked by the Kraken, everybody's like, but you could have done this. And it's like, I shouldn't have to have one hard counter to one mob just to be able to beat a run. Like, there's a reason why all the other characters feel so satisfying is because they're super flexible and stuff. But the moment you run into the Kraken with the witch, you're just doomed. And it gets really annoying when everybody's like, but you could have frozen them. And it's like, I would have frozen it if I had a frozen thing. 
Yeah, catastrophe, but that's 10 value for one freeze. Yep, and you can only use it once per round, uh, once per round, so I'd be able to freeze one of its five dice. Which, you know, just my luck would be the one odd dice to begin with, so... Pray for Kraken on floor two. I don't... I don't know if you can. Like, you can't even avoid the Kraken half the time. It's almost always in the way, so it's just like... Uh, counter spell would have worked, but I would have needed three of them and always rolled every even on every round just to freeze it down, and... It just wouldn't have worked. Like, that... The moment we got there, that build was probably doomed. Save for the Kraken rolling real bad. And it didn't. It didn't. 